What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the latest episode in the EA Sports PGA Tour Golf Series. And we are starting on week two of the PGA Tour. As you can see there on the screen, we are now officially ranked in the world rankings as 166, despite having a pretty bad performance in the first week of the season. But with that being said, we're going to get straight into the Farmers Insurance Open, and hopefully we can perform a little bit better than we did in the first tournament. Now, as you saw at the back end of the last episode, we did make some slight improvements on our on our player. Um, so we do have some more shot types available to us and hopefully a bit more control in our short game. So hopefully that'll all come to fruition and look and good on us as we start to play this comp. As we see, Tony Finau and Matt Fitzpatrick are leading the way under at four under. And we are currently sitting at one over heading into the sixth hole on a par five. Insurance open. Situated high on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean. What a golf course. Four pars after a first Wild hole bogey. Have in store. Let's see As what we, we can do. Leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Time to head out to the course as we pick things up on the tee at the long par five sixth. It's going to go in that bunker. Yes, it is. Ocean to the west. Delmar north of us. What a start, eh? And San Diego to the south. But let's talk about our featured golfer here. Things didn't go so Can't be thinking. You can't be serious that that's actually going to get there. PGA West. What would your advice be for how to attack things this week? Well, first and foremost, every great player or every player that I've known over the history of From one bunker to the next. More than once in their career. Maybe not. Put those clubs in the car and drive to your next event. Try and uh, change the mojo, get rid of the bad vibes. But uh, this, the job is this is a par five, isn't it? This is enough to get the concentration back. But you know, I, I'm going to say this many a time in their career. You got to hit the reset button, and this is the time too, because the golf course demands too much out of you. Yesterday, last week is long gone. Come back, Come back down. Come back down. Let's just gonna stay there. I always thought, and you would know better, having been there, that learning to deal with disappointments, with setbacks, is absolutely crucial to becoming a successful professional player. So, our featured golfer is back. I'm gonna turn. Oh, it's just missed out. Professional debut. What is the the proper mindset as you try to? As AJ would, as a good friend AJ would once say, got to get it in the hole. Not that difficult. There we go. We go for par. First hole, and we're in for par. We're here, of course, at Torrey Pines, the South Course. Long history of this event. Par four on the seventh hole. It's been here at All right, foot since down. The slope. Winners. Frank, you've played the course a number of times. Overall, what are the things that a young golfer like this needs to keep in mind this week? You have to remind yourself it's just a plain, oh, hard, bro. straight up golf oh, course. Oh. And plus, it's going it's to not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. Of its length because of the marine layer that often comes. 171. So very dense air. We're obviously at sea level. And plus the Poana greens, you're going to miss the odd short. We're going to use a new shot now. We're going to hack it out this rough. On the leaderboard, you don't see the same 60 nothings that we saw the week before. That looks like a pretty decent shot, to be fair. What a great shot that is from there. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Great chance for a birdie here. Just like commentary said, couldn't have put it better myself. It's going to just turn at the end, though. Just going to sneak on by. I didn't think there would be enough turn to make it move that much. That was a bad read. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay at one over. There we go. We arrive now at the second par three on the front side. The uphill 177 yards. Par three now. Very short. 177 yards. Not the longest. Get your shot to the right it's 27 left. feet up though green. now judging by what Nicholas told us in that previous episode we need to club up so let's see what clubbing up does it gets us up there just just stay on the green baby stay on the green for me stay on the green yes All right, you take there we go all day long. on the green chance for birdie coming up 
There's a lot of movement the at the start of it. Look at birdie. Speed, not break, will be the issue here as it picks up momentum. That's just down. killed it straight away. That is a lot. A turn. So literally, you need to probably double the amount we went in terms of the width. There we go. Okay, good roll there. It is Again, a here at the good end. run of, of pause. No right. shots made back is. though. I suppose the aim today, or the aim in this in this video that we're doing today, is to try and make the cut. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. All your support is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can. Can we hit five likes today? It would be great if we could. We'd greatly appreciate if we could hit five likes today. And we've hit that straight to the right. Shouldn't have asked for likes. <laughs> oh, is it going to stay on? Yes, it is, just. Number 304 yards. Still better than three bills away as he puts forth his second to the There's no point going for that shot there because the bunker's just going to get in the way. This might just go straight in the bunker anyway. This might roll straight into that bunker. No, nope, don't have the juice. That's all right. All right, I know it's not the highlight shot getting home on the par five and two, but maybe it's a smart shot. Staying a bit further forward. A little bit of levitation there, four foot up from where we are. And it's a pitching wedge. And it's going to spin off. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Oh, it doesn't hurt to leave it short when you do that. Well, hell yeah. A what a shot that is. Off the green. And what a way to finish off the first round from our play. Our featured golfer in a good position, you'd have to say. Not a bad position to be in. Off the pace after round one. Second round coming up. To get, uh, well, Two under. So and this leaves us in a decent position to try and get a cut, I think. Iona Let's see what happens in the second round. So here we go then. Second round is about to start. We're in a really good position to make it through to the to the third and fourth rounds here. We are starting out today from the very first hole. And let's see what the projected cut is. We've got six holes to play today. Nothing about projected cut yet. The cliffs, the trees, the green grass, the blue sky, maybe even a paraglider or two. As we check out, this is straight at that. Board. We've currently got a tie at the top. At you can see just moving right to left there. Pushing 49 yards yeah, to the hole. That's a beauty there to get this second round. Great underway. way to start the hole. We'll get right out to the action. Second shot. Oh, that's not going to slow down. That's going down the hill. That's going down the hill. Okay, it's not bad. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. He did that just to straighten out a bit. So that Never mind. Not his best of chips, but he'll have that for his par. You'd expect that to be a little closer from where he was, and that is far from a gimme. Well done. It's fine. That is in for a par here at the first. Well, that was a decent opportunity for a birdie, but unfortunately, it's not turned out to be the case. Homer and Ray we move now to the short leading the way on five under. Eighty-nine yard par four second here at Torrey Pines. Fairway wood or hybrid might be the play here. Well, the second hole here at Torrey Pine South is by no means long, but by the same token, it's not easy. This is strategic play, certainly off the tee. Put yourself in. Don't know if that's a good one. A good angle at that hole. Location. Oh, we've missed the bunker. The hill might slope it down to the rough, though. No problems there. Just, just out the first cut, fairway. which is nice to see. Using the sixty wedge. That'll do. That'll do nicely. That is absolutely and that's what we need to see more on the approaches. Four feet, all that's left for birdie. Oh, 
Oh, just, just. I thought it was going to turn more there, and it didn't do it. And he gets it to one under for his round, three under for the week. With La Jolla and the blue Pacific in the distance, we move ahead to the picturesque 201 yard par 3 third. Club selection can range from a nine iron to a hybrid depending on conditions, and you definitely don't want to be long here. Okay, so it's 50 foot going down, so... It might be all right, you know. <sighs> I thought it was going to get more of a bounce, okay, but... On the green, but again, considering that could have gone flying over the edge of the cliff. I will take that. I will take that. Well, next week, the California swing continues. We head up the coast to... Pebble Beach, there's nothing like it. The AT&T Pebble Beach pro -Am. Can that roll in? Yes, it will. Two chips in an episode. Absolutely brilliant. And that puts us right behind the leaders, and they've not teed off yet. Three holes to go on the second round. But it's challenging, and it requires a good tee shot. Well struck in play. And you're happy to walk away with a par here. Go. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 157 to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. Stay, 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 stay. Hit the hill. Oh, go the other way. <laughs> and we're back making sand castles again. To be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Go then. That'll do. Very nice. Good recovery. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand. And a good chance to save par. Okay, we'll take that. Two holes to go. And he'll remain one shot back. Still one shot back. This par four fifth here at Torrey Pine South measures 454 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. See how that lands. Yeah, it's going to hit the slope again. Okay, that's going to split the bunkers. A good tee I'll shot do. here at five. 137 yards to the hole. Another chance at birdie, I think. Ideal location, middle of the fairway. This is second. Going to the right. In the bunker. Not quite. On the green, just well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Look at the run there. One right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. It's not going to move it. Nah, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. There we go. That one finished off. It is a Hit the par. Five. And he's going to remain one shot off. I just thought the way that green was running, it was going to be so much quicker. All right, so you've made your but way clearly not. <laughs> harder par fours, and now you get a chance to lick your chops at this par five. The sixth is 564 yards with a good tee shot. You'll have a chance of getting home in two and maybe making a three. Stay out the rough, please. The right side. That'll do. Lovely stuff. Can we drive this on? It's not too far out of the realms of possibility. I'm going to use the roll of it, I think. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. 
Oh, just didn't have the momentum to That's roll up the hill. To do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Stop for me, stop for me, stop for me. There we go. Stop there. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, not the easiest of birdie putts we're going to have, I don't think. This a little under 10 feet for birdie. That'll do. Okay, nicely, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at six. That'll end. That puts him at two under for his round. Today, we are on five under with everybody else. So our featured golfer here and we'll be seventh. The first two days. So Tied for seventh. The weekend and five shots back on Max Homer right. and Tony Fino. So we made... That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday. We've so made our first cut. We've made our first cut of the PGA Tour. So, thankfully, <laughs> we, we now know we can actually make cuts now. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, we've got the ability now to maybe go push in for a top 10. Let's see. Um, let's see how we do. Um, got a long way to go, though, if we are going to do that. Tony Finau leading the way on eight under, so we are four shots back. So if we're gonna do it, it's gonna create it's gonna have to be some effort. And we're gonna need some drop shots for the leaders, I think. We've played from the south course at Tory Pines How many have we played? Let's see. We played the first six holes and we're on even so far for the day. So in a decent position. We're gonna play six more holes. Look at the third round leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top of the leaderboard at eight under par. Let's get out to the play as we pick things up at the par four seven. Frank, round three of the Farmers Insurance Open continuing here at Tory Pines. Our there we go. For coming off a missed cut in that professional debut, but really playing well in the second go round and at the very least we're getting to the weekend for the first time yeah last week i, I don't put too much credence into that rich because it was a birdie blitz right if, if you're not shooting 62 63s you just get lapped this week it's different though because it's fairways and greens i mean this oh week, just thought for a second it was going to make it into, into this into the ground if you don't have a game so we're seeing a I don't want to use the word polish because obviously they're brand new, but we're starting to see a proper golfer out here. One thing I will say that I like, really like about this game, amongst other things, the many things that I do like about this game, is the commentary is superb. Like, it gives context to every single round you're doing. It gives context to the prior week's competition that you've just heard there about me missing the cut in my professional debut, stuff like that. Like, those are such great immersive touches for a career mode. We've not even got up the rough, and it might be going slowly back down the hill. And we're going to have to play it exactly the same way again. Nope, that is not. Right, start to round three. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Let the ball run towards the flag. I'll do. Good recovery. We have to just take a licks there and take yeah, the bogey. That's a really good shot. Had a nice upslope to work within the bunker. Always makes it an easier shot. Able to take advantage of it. That one in, it is a bogey here at the seventh. And he's going to slide backwards to three under par. Yeah, we're, we're just, we're playing too much, too many shots at the bunker. We're just play, it's almost like we're just playing in sand all the time. Like, another one, the 177 yard eight. This hole deceptively up. Again, can't get too frustrated because we are in the top 10 at the minute. Club, maybe even two to cut through this ocean air and cover that deep front bunker. Oh, that's that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's not a good shot. Boy, that ball got caught in the breeze, and it was just along for the ride. Much too firm there. So where the hill's slanting, I think I just need to adjust this a little bit. Oh, and that's gonna sail the way, and it's gonna be another bogey, ladies and gentlemen. Look out! I mean, that one came out. 
jalapeno hot, Frank. Using all the real estate and now really got the work cut out to get down in two parts. Get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. Go on, go on. Oh. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Needed a bit more juice on that one. But the putt in. That one finished off. It's a bogey. Probably where I'm most happy. And that's going to drop him to two under. In terms of shot making, driving and putting is definitely my strengths. In terms of approach shots, shots, they're getting better. Yard Not five, nine, anywhere near where I'd like them to be, but they are getting better. Only the longest hitters, but with a good drive and that aggressive layup, birdie is definitely a possibility. There we go. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. I suppose we're dropped a couple of shots now. We may as well go for some shots now. We're going to need this fairway to kick it to the right for us. I'll do that instead. That's fine. We all know there is so much emphasis these days on power, hitting the ball long ways. We forget once in a while that you have to be able to put the ball in the proper places. That's what he's done right here. Yeah, par fives were designed as three shotters, and this hole is definitely a three shotter today. Not the greatest shot I've ever played. That's going all the way down the green again. And another two putter coming up. This will require the full attention. A huge swing left to right on this putt. Just trying to get it in there close. Put some extra juice on it. Letting it roll. Again, so close. Three holes to go. Drop two shots. Max Homer and Fitzpatrick leading the way at the minute. Lots of people on eight under with Fitzpatrick. This one not as daunting as some others here with a good tee shot. Birdie, definitely a possibility. That is dead center right down the middle here to start the hole. Now from just under 170 out, this is second. Come on, be a good shot, be a good shot, be a good shot. Yes, that's a good shot. That's what we needed. What stop the back nine. That is a tremendous iron shot. Four feet now for birdie. Not the easiest. Hold the light. That missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. Oh. Ah, uh, it's so frustrating. Start this back side. Oh. And he'll stay at 200. Could have made a shot back there quite easily. Moving now to the tough 11th hole here at Torrey Pines. Long downhill par three. Par three. 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. Going left, don't want it to be going left. It's going to end the bunker again. Just had a very favorable bounce there. Right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Oh, good lord. This literally could go anywhere. Yeah, we're probably heading for another bogey here. Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. 
Yes. I thought I was just creeping away again. I really did think that was just creeping away again. We managed to hold on. One more to play. And then we'll be into round four. Can be aggressive off the tee here, and you should be because if you do not hit a good drive, you're not going to get it home in two. Mm. No, it's staying out of the bunker. No issues. I will take that. That is into the fairway. Two hundred and four yards. Now back toward the ocean. This is second at twelve. That didn't feel good. That's ah, racing down the hill. So bad, man. So bad. Roll for me. Roll. Roll. Oh. Don't go all the way down there, please. Okay. Probably going to be another drop shot now. This is a 13 footer. Hold. Yes. Uh, Just yeah. again. Read there. That is in Very close. And we've dropped three more shots right. in the back nine there. Now we're plus well, one. Doubt, a disappointing Saturday Very much featured golfer. High out of the weekend now. It's an over round, round four is coming. Well back. Plus five for the day. Plus five for the day. That's absolutely shocking, isn't it? But we have to remember, we do have to remember that the cut has been made today. So we have made progress from last week. Now we're gonna have a we're gonna have a playing partner today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have, we're gonna play with Patrick Cantley. So here we go. Let's see if we can uh, have a good time with Patrick. EA Sports. Let's, let's see what we do. EA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx. We now three shots ahead of Fitzpatrick going into the last round. For us, we just want to finish, I suppose, even or under. Of the Farmers Insurance Open. Well, this is Make it three good rounds out of four. Spots in the sport we we are on even par. We've dropped a shot in the last hole. Golf course is immaculate. This is Southern California in all its glory. As we There's check a tree the right in the way board. there, isn't there? Our leader is Tony Finau. He currently sits at 12 under par. I've noticed it this time. So let's get out to the course. Unlike yesterday. That <laughs> <laughs> might be in danger. Yeah. Didn't really have much choice other than Final to hit it like that because of the tree. Frank, so let's Patrick see what Patrick can do. He's on plus four. Week in La Quinta, now playing on a Sunday for the very first time as a professional. And obviously enjoying it, Rich. Uh, you got to have a convenient memory in this He's game. Just put that. About last week. He just this goes week, past us and stays on the fairway. It's tough. It's long. If you can stand up against the best there players in the world this week. Looks happy with that. Into the final round here at Torrey Pines on a Sunday, Farmers Insurance Open. And Frank, you well know, having been out on the PGA Tour, having won on the PGA Tour, it's small victory, right? So you missed the cut in the debut. That was at the American Express in La Quinta, California last week. What would qualify as a win the next time out? No, not enough. And here we are. You're so right. Should have stayed with the I club. Mean, it's a series of firsts, isn't it? This is a brand new career. You don't know if you're going to fit in. Uh, even seeing your name on the locker room when you go in there for the very, very first time. Well, how does your game stack up? You start ticking those boxes, then all of a sudden you get into a weekend and you make that cut for the very first time, and those magic words start going through. Oh, he's happy with that one. He's got the fist bump and everything. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. This is one of those putts where you might feel like you've lucked out a little bit. There's a significant uphill. Turn back for me. Turn, turn back. Turn back. Turn back. Oh. No. Nope. Very close. Patrick's going to take his putt now. This one measures out to 15 feet. 
Again, I really want to get some proper gear. As in, like, my golfing gear. Whether it's clubs or... There we go. Patrick makes the putt. Is it in? Must be close. One inch to the hole. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. You can see his coin there on the golf hole. Put that away. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. We'll and take it. Keeps us on par. even. Now Cantley's just going to put this away. He's sitting in 50th place on 4+. plus. There we go. Finished off. It's in for par. And he'll stay at level par. So now to the final part three here at Torrey Pine South. It is the 16th, 220. So we've got three holes left. Good hole with those Chance to protecting the green. There is that slight opening in the front. It would take an outstanding shot. To give yourself a chance to make a birdie. Oh, it's gone right. And it sailed over the... Oh, oh. Let's see how Cantley hits this. Can't hit that as bad as we did. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, no, that might be going to the bunker. He might be in trouble here. Oh, he's just, he just got out the rough. Yeah, we don't need a huge, huge shot here. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Good recovery shot. There we go. Oh, I thought it was going in. Not a bad shot at all. He's going to take his putt first. It's for par. Oh, you are kidding me. Right on the going down. How does that not go down? I it's going to stay out. There we go. We trickle over his coin. <laughs> and he'll remain right where he is. This literally just needs like a, a puff of air on it. And it's going in. That's how close that is to going over. Okay, and then we'll go. It's now to plus five, Patrick Cantley. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443 yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker. There we go. 75 yards down that right side. Two holes left. Got an opportunity here to try and get some birdies. We can't. We get a good first couple of shots. That's a nice down the middle fairway drive, well, and we take it. And drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. He's going to change down to the wood here, I think. That's going right, left even. Oh, that's going way left. Oh, that's in a bad spot. In the dirt. <laughs> Getting from bad to worse, Patrick. He's dropped it back into the rough. His third shot. Oh, that's a lovely shot. From the position he was in, that's a great shot. Well, that's what separates the good players from the great players. The ability to get it that close from that kind of lie. Okay, we're 24 foot up. I mean, it just passed the pin. Roll for me. Roll. I just wanted you to straighten out a bit. 17 foot. It's going to be a hell of a putt for me to get birdie. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. And he may need to give this just a little extra. No. Straightened out way quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, I think he's going to be very disappointed that he never gave that a chance to get to the hole. Go on. Can't they come in now for part? And it's got the turn. Yeah, that's a lovely yeah, putt. 
Rest use the part. We are gonna finish we are gonna finish on a par five as well though, so really good chance if we get that drive right for an eagle or a birdie. And he'll remain right where he is. There we go. Fina, where where's finishing our round and Fina hasn't even teed off yet. And it's straight. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit it in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. There we go. 293 yards on the first shot. Take it. And pretty much next to each other. Not much to fault there. You'd be happy with that. You'd think. We're back here again. Oh, water. I think we just need to. Can't can't wood it from there, can we? Just iron it. Take the safe shot. Chip it in. Go for the birdie. Oh, Don't hit the hill hard missing. though. Oh no 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 that ball just had a mind of its own there. No way to get it to stop. And it winds up in the water. Now Cantley's gonna go for it from here. Has he got the power? That's as straight as you come. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, he's got that on the green nice and easy. So you put in for a birdie. Good end to the round for him. That second shot too, it carried the famous Bruce Devlin's billabong. That little piece of water in front. That was a great shot too. It had to be all carry. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay. Way too good. I must say, that was uh, just smashed. Oh, size of a putt left. Now to possibly this is for Eagle now in grand style. A long look for Eagle. 51 foot. You can see it's going from right to left. And he's using the hill. Has he got it? Has he got it? No, just just oh, that, that should a be a birdie for him. Really good putt. Got it to throw out the anchor right near the hole. That's well done. Right then, to save par. Let's move to pretty much straight away. Very close. Then we're going to be above even. All the tournament. Here comes Cantley then. To move up to four over for the tournament. And it drops. Some shocking, shocking uh, holes there for Cantley. We've not been much better. That's a first full tournament completed though. Finished off. And he'll drop back to one over par. Let's see how it finishes out. Fee now a couple of shots ahead. Cameron Young now with Fee now. Well, that about wraps and Cameron Young here today. Like will win that. Partner, Frank there you go. Certainly did, Rich. Once we finished 33rd overall. More than a stern test. For the Again, team, that'll help us with our ranking. Until next time. And we've now finished our first full tournament so there we go ladies and gentlemen that will be it for the episode today um again improvement on the previous previous tournament which is what we've got we've got the at t pebble breach pro-am coming up next um we stay fedex cup rankings we're now tied 52nd we are still 166 in the world um no double eagles double eagles um and we'll see we'll see how it goes in the next episode again if you have enjoyed the series so far again i great, greatly appreciate all your support if you want to like share and subscribe and comment down below on what you're thinking of the series so far i would greatly appreciate it and yeah i'll see you on the next one guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you soon